Drug overdose deaths have hit a new high in this country, with more than 100,000 Americans dying last year. News 8's Lauren Linder has a closer look at the impact on Connecticut. Here in Connecticut, we're also seeing an uptick in overdose deaths, and health experts tell me the numbers aren't going down. I walked through that door and I was 30 days from in a recovery and I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. TJ Aiken remembers the day he stepped into the Connecticut Community for Addiction Recovery Center in Hartford. The 27-year-old discovered opiates at a young age after an injury. It led to an addiction and time in prison. Then five years ago, he sought help. It was like this godsend. Unfortunately, that's not the case for others facing substance abuse. The problem only getting worse. According to the Connecticut Department of Public Health, the state saw 1,378 overdose deaths in 2020. That's a 15% increase from 2019 when there were 1,202. Both years, the majority taking place in New Haven County. Every single person is uh, vulnerable and at risk of overdosing. Kara Sepulveda of the Quinnipiac Valley Health District says the COVID-19 pandemic played a factor in the spike. Nobody was able to monitor their well-being and make sure that they didn't overdose. And she says more and more drugs are getting mixed with fentanyl, especially those found on the streets. This includes counterfeit pills of common prescription medications like Adderall or Xanax. I definitely lost a lot of friends that, you know, and people that I love to this disease. As for TJ, he's thankful he took that first step and wants those still struggling to know that with a little support, they too can get better. A recovery gave me the life that I never thought I was capable of. As TJ says, help is out there. For more information on resources, visit our website, WTNH.com. For now, reporting in Hartford, Lauren Linder, News 8.